And where have you been with your ballet? What did what did your ballet career um, mean? I mean, what did it lead to? It was very American. Um, I, I grew up in South Carolina, but then went away to New York um, when I was 12 to train and then permanently moved to Florida when I was 13 to go to high school. Um, and then I did a season as a trainee with Milwaukee Ballet um, professionally. And then I spent six years in Las Vegas dancing for Nevada Ballet Theater. Oh, wow. And I danced for a company in California. And then mm. I, um, I went back home for one season to the professional company in South Carolina before I moved to Africa. So it was all over the States, but all in the States. And was it very intensive? Was it, was it all it, you wanted it to be? Or was it very stressful? Because you hear these quite you know that it can be quite a tough life a ballet dancer part it is it is very tough um the training's really hard your whole life I I had a t-shirt when I was a teenager that said I can't I have rehearsal and it's absolutely <laughs> right like every yeah. time anybody's like oh we're going to the football game or oh we're doing this or that I could never do any of those things I, I grew up in a studio um it's a seven day a week commitment your whole family has to commit to it um and it's that's hard and then injuries happen and that's hard and even even go switching from being a student when you're the best and you're really on top and then you go into a professional company and suddenly you're understudying mm. people that are 40 years old and and 40 mm. when you're 18 19 sound it's like why am I Standing behind this dinosaur, uh, <laughs> I'm 37. I do not think 40 year olds are dinosaurs. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, but yeah, I um, th there's all those moments. But but mm. I, I love like I love ballet. Like some people leave it and they are heartbroken mm. and they hate it. And it, but ballet is. I mean, it, it is my joy. I still sometimes this is a, this is a little selfish. But sometimes when one of the kids is like, I don't. Sam, Ms. Cooper, would you would you demonstrate it? I'm like, yes, let me demonstrate it. I'd be happy to demonstrate it for you. Um, so I still love to dance, and um, and I I don't have any resentment towards it, but I do understand dancers that do. Mm. And um, I was also really lucky because I always went to school when I was dancing professionally. Yeah. I went, I got a degree in European history, mm. so if I got a bad cast list, I often got an A on an exam at night yes. when I was at school. Or when school was really tough and frustrating, I could take it all out on the studio floor. So I've been lucky never to put all my eggs in one basket, which sometimes yeah. when, no matter what you, even if you're, you know, if, if you're a stay at home mom and your children are acting horrible and that's your whole focus, then it's just the whole world is terrible. But um, I, I've been lucky to kind of diversify my life a bit. Yeah, no, which I think is really important. I know when Joelle, one of your students, was very much into diversification and talking about how important it is not to just put Absolutely. all your eggs in one basket.